Ciao, mi chiamo Andrea. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of potassium oxide. I've created a nice little table to help us out. Watch how quick and simple this is. Bam, so the first step is we're gonna write down the elements we see in the compound. So we have potassium, we have oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If you don't see a subscript for a particular element, just put in a one. So there's two potassium, one oxygen. Then we're gonna take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of the element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So let's take a look. So we have potassium here, 39.10, and we have oxygen over here, 16. So let's write that on down. So we got 39, 39.10, and we have 16 for oxygen. Next, we're going to find the total mass of each element of the compound by simply multiplying this row on across. So the total mass of potassium is going to be 78.20, and the total mass of oxygen is just going to be 16. And then that almost looked like 16W, right? Um, then we're going to add these together. So the total mass here is going to be 94.20. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in grams per mole. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it very much. I look forward to helping you with more problems. Arrivederci.